Right guys, firstly I'm tied to a mic here so I'm kind of crouched over a table but uh, uh, welcome back to the channel, sorry I haven't, I haven't been here for, well I don't feel like I've been on for a while. Um, the video, the title of the video is pretty much uh, tools, buying new tools, which I have been the last few weeks as normal, um, it's an ongoing thing for me, uh, they make, make me more efficient. Um, so it's tools, what I've been up to, what's coming up, uh, what else, learning new skills and uh, another thing, probably off topic, but it's uh, the keto way of living, you know, I've been on the, the keto sort of, it's not a diet, it's, just, it's more of a, a way of way of eating uh, to make me more healthy, but I'll get into that later on and, and tell you why I'm doing it and the benefits of it for me. But anyway, um, uh, I do. I've, I've bought quite a lot of tools recently, as I've just said. Uh, I'll, I'll go through them separately. I'll go them through them one by one, uh, just quickly, just a quick run through of what I've bought and why I bought it, in cases of any interest to anybody. Um, but the way what needs to be said is the way I buy tools is I'll do a job, and I'm sure you guys are the same. <clears throat> you can be doing a job and you're thinking, right. There's got to be an easy way of doing this, or there's got to be something that helps me do this job. And, and you go home that night and research it, and lo and behold, you find some sort of tool. You know, whether it's watching YouTube videos or looking on eBay, Amazon, anything like that. There's always a tool for to make a job easier. Um, so I'm I'm quite addicted to that actually. Um, I always look for tools that make my life easier. That's one thing. Uh, the other thing is learning new skills. Again, I'm the type of person, if I come up against something and I can't do it, I get I get fairly frustrated, uh, which is it's not a good, maybe not a good thing. Um, but for me, I'm not one of these people who can do the same thing day in, day out, and just be bored, you know. Um, I always try and learn new skills. You know, it could be a really simple skill or it could be a really complex skill, uh, which takes months, you know, even years to learn sometimes. Yeah, but that's, that's what keeps things interesting for me. Uh, so it's learning the new skill, learn, getting the new tools that you need to, to, you know, accomplish that job. That's what makes this job fun for me, and I'm sure you guys the same. Uh, but in this particular video, this, the skill that I'm looking at, I wouldn't say looking to learn because I do know how to do it, but it's 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 more to perfect, uh, and it's the, the kitchen worktop mason's mitre. Which is pretty much where you fit the two worktops together, you know, neatly, uh, so you can't see the join. Uh, sounds simple, but it's not. <laughs> it's uh, it's not a simple skill. Um, I mean, it's simple to do the basics, but if walls are out of square and things like that, it can can be quite tricky. Uh, so I'm practicing that at the moment. I bought the tools that I need. I've bought the jigs, the routers, the router bits, uh, things like that, which I'll, I'll get into later on. So that, that's predominantly the skill. Um, that I'm learning. Well, saying that. I, I, I learn loads of new skills all the time, but that's the one I'm going to concentrate on in this video. Uh, next thing is where I've been. Uh, as I've said, I've been the last three weeks here in the UK, COVID, the COVID situation, the, the rules were relaxed slightly about three weeks ago, so I could actually go back into properties. Um, I've, I've been tending to avoid going into properties just because of the hassle and I couldn't be bothered with it, to be honest. I had lots of outdoor work, which I could do no problem, you know, without any contact. Um, but now the, the rules have been relaxed, I've got a backlog of, of work, indoor work. So the last three weeks I've been doing a, a property renovation. Um, it's a rental property, which is currently an HMO, which is a house of multiple occupancy. Uh, which was a three bedroom property in with a kitchen and a bathroom, a shared kitchen, shared bathroom and three separate bedrooms which are treated as their own separate units. Uh, but the, the job I've been doing is uh, converting it basically into a three bedroom house so it could be rented to a family as opposed to an HMO. Um, the funny thing about that one is uh, there was one existing tenant left in that property and he was on night shift, so whenever I was going around during the day, this guy was sleeping, you know, all day. And here's me traipsing about with uh, circular saws, impact drivers, you know, the things. Just a crazy situation. Just if you ever, if you ever try to be quiet using a circular saw in the property, um, <laughs> it's uh, impossible. 
Anyway, what I'm trying to say, that's the job I've been on, but I couldn't really film because it was just uh, just a, a, not a good situation. So, got the job done, and um, that's it, finished. I'm out of there now. So, forthcoming work. Um, this coming week, I've got another renovation, um, which is a three-bedroom flat. Uh, tenants have just not long moved out, and it's just a refresh job. So, it's going paint the whole place, you know, magnolia, white ceilings. Just get a neutral, fresh. Uh, there's a couple of uh, tile repairs to do in the bathroom, reseal in the bath, things like that. Uh, small little jobs. Uh, bathroom cabinet, I think, to hang. Lights to fix, just silly things. But I'll try and film some of that going forward. Um, after that one, I've got a lot of fence work coming up. Then lastly is, the, as I said, the keto diet. Um, for me personally, I'm 47 years old now. Um, I come from a, well, brief overview of me. Uh, I, I serve my time as a multi-coded welder. Um, so it's pipelines for the offshore industry, oil and gas industry. Uh, so I, I work my way up through through that. So what I'm trying to say is I was a manual, I'd done manual labour, you know, in the first, I don't know, 10, 15 years of my career. And then I, I progressed into the corporate uh, office-based type job um, where I was basically sitting on my behind, looking at computer screens on the phone, you know, so uh, just not physically active. So what I'm trying to say here is, coming back into this industry after coming away from the corporate side, is I've noticed a big difference with my fitness levels, and especially when I'm fencing, you know, it's really hard graft. Um, so I just thought it was about time. I need to lose a bit of weight. I need to eat a bit healthier. Um, I was the world's worst, you know, Mars bars, uh, <laughs> crisps. Just the, the world's worst diet, just terrible. You know, when you're on the go and on the move, you just tend to eat convenience food during the day. But now I get up in the morning, I don't have breakfast, I don't have lunch, I just have one meal a day. Um, usually about five, six o'clock at night, and it's very low carbohydrate, uh, high protein, high fat. And that's a, it's just amazing the difference. I mean, I've lost, uh, it's coming up for 24 pounds in six weeks. Um, you probably can't see it on me because I, I'm never usually in the videos, uh, I very rarely. Um, but I feel a lot better, uh, my mind's a lot clearer, more energy, it's just I would recommend it to anybody. So it's the keto, low carb uh, thing. As you get older you tend to get more, I would say more conscious about your health. You know, and as my 20s and 30s, you don't give up monkeys, you know, you drink like fish. I used to smoke 40, 50 a day. Live a bit of the party lifestyle, really. Um, but as you get older, and I've, I've obviously got a young daughter now as well, um, you tend to you tend to change a little bit. Um, so sorry, a bit off topic, but I just thought we'd get that in there as well. One of the first things I bought recently was the this is a Baco mini socket set. Now most most of my Vito bags I use the Tool Check Plus if you've seen any of my other videos, but there, this can be limited sometimes because the the ratchet is so small. Yeah, so the Baco socket set. Excuse my hands, this is actually the day after I'm filming. I've been <laughs> doing that renovation place. I've been, there's more paint on me than there is on the walls, I think. Anyway, uh, went for this socket set. As I explained earlier, I've got two check pluses in nearly every Vito bag I own, because um, these, are, these are great. But I have had a couple of occasions where I could just do with a, a slightly larger ratchet. And I'll show you the difference here. Here's the ratchet that comes with the Weera tool check, and here's the one that comes with the Baco. It's just slightly larger, more robust. So for heavier applications, it's it's got its uses. Um, you know, also comes with its a handy extension. It's just pretty much the same standard size bits as the the tool check plus. Next thing is just I was just doing that job as I said last week. Uh, well, the last renovation I've done for the last three weeks, um, I was mucking about with kitchen sinks and stuff. Uh, just ran short extensions, so just bought a couple of extensions from Weera. Nothing to see there, just quarter inch extensions uh, from my impact driver. They're good. One thing I bought and I'm really pleased with is the, you know, I use these uh, Pica pencils all the time, automatic pencils. They're great for carpentry. Um, even tiling, things like that. But the this is the Pica Big Dry marker. 
It's a pencil marker again, but it's more like a carpenter's pencil. Okay, so the Pica Big Dry Pencil. As I've said before, this is the, the pencils I normally use, which are the just the Pica Lock Mac pencils, which act as deep hole markers as well. This is the, the bigger version, uh, which I can show you the difference. So you can see the difference. It's the, the Big Dry is shaped more like a carpenter's pencil, you know, the, the square lead, uh, rectangle lead, etc. So it's just a lot more robust. Um, so for heavier applications such as fencing or heavy duty carpentry, this is, in my opinion, it's a better pencil. It's just like, you know, you can abuse it a bit more. Whereas these are more intricate. Uh, still really good pencils. Uh, I, I just wear them all the time. I have them clipped onto my, you know, either my trousers or my, my shirt or whatever I'm wearing. So that's just great. Uh, there is a sort of secret, well, I'll show you. To sharpen the lead on this one, it's just like a bit of sandpaper on the side here. Uh, you can just easily sharpen the lead. Um, and the big dry as well has an added bonus of, I don't know how useful this would ever come in, but it's a quarter inch hex uh, fitting on the end. So if you're ever in a pinch, you can fit a, you know, an impact driver bit or a bit to it and, and use it. It doubles up as a screwdriver. Bit of a gimmick probably, but um, it does have that feature. Uh, another thing is the, obviously I said I just bought a new router, so I bought two Freud, um, I think they're 12 and a half or 127 millimeter cutters, uh, the ones that are special specialised for for worktops. So a good deal on these at the moment in Screwfix, you get two cutters and a, a free set of jigsaw blades uh, for cutting laminate. Um, so pick that up. Another one is I've been doing quite a lot of plumbing the last uh, in the last renovation, there was a fair bit of plumbing work. Obviously, I, I couldn't film it because of what I said about the tenant. Um, but one thing I've needed is a, a pipe reaming tool just for deburring copper pipe when you cut it. Uh, I had one of those cheap plastic things that you turn and I, I've, I've actually lost it. <laughs> so I just thought it was about time buying a new one. Yeah, so I just went for this fairly inexpensive uh, deburring tool. Um, this is by Silverline. So basically, you just put it in the end of the the pipe like this, uh, give it a spin, this blade's razor sharp so it just totally deburs the pipe. Um, one of the main reasons I went for this one, this is all aluminium so it's good solid construction and uh, the fact that these blades are inter interchangeable so basically you just pull this back and the blade comes out, you know, so you can buy these in packs of you know, three or five really cheaply and then just you know have a interchangeable blade for your reaming tool so good purchase um i'll leave links in the description of everything i'm showing here just in case anybody wants to check them out uh, but i would certainly recommend this uh the next thing quite a big purchase was i think i mentioned this in my uh, power tool video it's a milwaukee surge impact driver this is no uh, ordinary impact driver, it's the hydraulic version, which is 50% quieter, which it is, I can vouch for that. Um, and, you know, a lot smoother. But to be honest, I'll be very honest with this, I, I normally use uh, DeWalt impact drivers, but this one is more than double the price of a DeWalt impact, and to me, it's not worth the money. It's not, it's really not worth it. it seems to be lacking in power, to be honest, uh, compared to my DeWalt's. I have read a lot about these and, you know, you get a more sustained torque, if you like, so it's just a smoother action, which it is. But for the price of them, I don't, this was nearly 170 quid uh, here in the UK. Um, just not worth it to me. But I've done it now, I've got it, so it'll be well used. Uh, when I bought this, I'm not on the Milwaukee platform, so I had to buy the, uh, the 5 amp hour battery with it as well. And I bought another, this is a Weeda wrap adapter, but it's a longer version. Um, that, uh, I love these, so I'll stick to these, which is for this as well. So pretty much a new impact setup, um, which is okay, but in my opinion, not, not worth the extra money. Uh, another thing is, this is just a jig. I've got a job coming up, there's a lot of door handles I need to do, and the holes that you drill need to be absolutely square for the type of handle I'm using. So it's just a clever little device from uh, Wolfcraft where you, you know, place it against the door and it keeps your drill really square. Um, 
I, just, I could make a whole video on that on its own, but I've got these special handles that the hole needs to be absolutely bang on square. If it's not, they just don't fit. Um, you know, so this is invaluable. Next thing is knee pads. Something I struggle with all the time. I must have six or seven sets of knee pads. I tend to use the strapped version. Um, but, I mean, they're all good, but the, the straps dig into the back of my legs. You know, after wearing them for a long period of time. Uh, I, I, I wear the dual work trousers a lot, so I bought these uh, pads to slip into the, you know, the knee the knee joints. The, well, the knee pockets, if you like, on the on the trousers. I've only used them once, but uh, they're a lot more comfy than the, the strap versions. Uh, so pretty chuffed with those. Some of the bigger items I bought, uh, I bought a petrol breaker. Um, I do have a Titan breaker, but I have to rely on power at the client's house, which is not always ideal, because a lot of the time when I'm fencing, there's, there's, uh, the clients aren't in, so there's no power available. So I bought this uh, petrol breaker, um, it's a pretty cheap Chinese version, but uh, it did come recommended by you know, a top company on Instagram, a professional fencing company who I've sort of been liaising with for a bit of advice. And they recommended it, so yeah, so this is the breaker I bought. Um, I've used it, I must have broken up about, uh, I'm guessing about 50 holes already with it. You know, old uh, fence post concrete in the hole. Uh, this thing's immense, so powerful. I mean, it starts pretty much first time every time. But it's just the, the, the whole thing with this is that you don't need power. You know, you can just go a, a, a little tank of petrol, uh, take it anywhere, and it just, just does the job. Uh, it's just, just a great tool. The other thing that I bought is a, I don't know if you can see behind me actually, uh, that saw there, which is a seven and a half inch DeWalt uh, miter saw. Okay, so here's my new seven and a half inch miter saw, it's just so compact and light, um, that's what I love about it. Yeah. Just a great saw. Um, this is the reason I bought it, because it's, it's totally portable, battery operated, so great. Great little saw. As I was saying earlier, um, that I use these trestles, so it just these act as a you know a miter saw stand. Do we? It just clips on to the trestles that I use, so it's great. So I just store it, store it like that, and lift it off, and it's it's easily very portable. So great saw. We'll predominantly be using this for um, trim. You know, architrave, skirting boards, um, laminate flooring, trim, that sort of thing. Even some certain fencing uh, applications as well. It's just handy to have a saw that you can just pull about, you know. Yeah, as opposed to wheeling this uh, brute about. <laughs> this is a big 12 inch miter saw from DeWalt, which is brilliant. Um, it's, this is actually the corded version I've got just for the power. Um, there's no need to be battery operated for me with this because it's just far too heavy to, to carry about on site. Yeah, I don't do enough carpentry work to justify, you know, having a portable one. Um, so this is ideal for me. Yeah, while I'm here, I'll just demonstrate the blower and what the, the main reason I bought it. You know, you can see the miter saw, it's quite clean here actually, but um, you can just see how easily it is to clean this blower. So I'll just demonstrate that. Quick blast and it's absolutely spotless, so. Great bit of kit, even for blasting the back of the van out, you know, things like that, garage floor. Just loads of applications, but great, great little tool this. Okay, so here's the worktop jig that I bought. It is the Trend KWJ700. Um, I've been playing about with this. Uh, I was playing it with it the weekend. It's, it just seems really good. Um, just a nice jig. Um, this is the router that I bought. As I've said, it's not it's not hugely expensive, but it's not one of the cheapest ones either. So um, it's, it's quite a good router actually. I mean, from what I've used it. Uh, good enough for my purposes anyway. Um, comes in a nice case. So we've got okay, so I got home today. I got a couple of packages in the post. As I was saying, I was filming last night the other part of this video. Um, so this is the the quarter inch router bits that I was talking about. Just cheap, you know, just for me practicing with. Um, you can see they're all over the place. This is how they came. Um, I mean, the package has obviously been jumping about. So I'll sort these out later. Um, and this is my main one. This is a half inch trend set. Yeah, so this is a trend set here. Um, you know, you've got nice diagrams, everything you've got. You can just tell it's a lot high, higher quality than, than this here. 
Um, so then I'll be play about with these and just get used to, to routing. So, uh, lastly guys, uh, well hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you've seen all the clips that I've added in here earlier. Um, lastly, I'm sort of approaching the 2000 subscriber uh, range, which I never thought would happen, uh, I thought we'd be lucky to reach 10. Um, but so I can't thank you enough, it's great. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway, I meant to do one at 1000 subscribers, but I didn't, just didn't know how really, I didn't. Uh, and it came quite fast, I didn't expect it. So I'll do a giveaway for the 2000 subscriber. Um, I don't know what to give yet, either, whether it's power tools, Vito products, whatever, I'll think of something. Um, if there's anything specific you guys would like to see uh, as a giveaway, within reason, uh, stick it in the comments uh, and I'll I'll take heed to that. Uh, and we'll, we'll touch on that in future videos uh, as we approach the subscriber level. Um, Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed the videos, uh, hope everybody's getting busy and uh, please, if you're new here, uh, subscribe by clicking, I think it's that button there, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, thank you, cheers.